absolutely juicy, if anything. So I am quite certain that you're all tired of hearing me respond to various hit pieces, since they're always about the same thing, but I thought to just, you know, flex a bit, talk about how great I am, and respond to the hit piece in the same video. Now, this hit piece is quite fun in the sense that, first and foremost, this is no joke, it cost the taxpayers 1 million Swedish crowns, that's about 100,000 euros. And also, if anyone wants to even the score a bit, I do have a Bitcoin wallet if you want to support financially, if you think my work is better than their work. And also, the hit piece is labeled as a report. It's a report on right-wing extremism and potential terrorism. Now, I will just say something that makes it even more hilarious, and that is they accuse me of making homoerotic videos. Now, this is something that... It's a report commissioned by Swedish authorities. And... You know, I thought at least that homosexuality and homoerotic things were A-OK -okay with the Swedish establishment, but apparently when someone they do not like makes homoerotic material, it's apparently wrong. So I ask you then, Swedish regime, Swedish authorities, Magnus Ranstorp, is there anything wrong with homoerotic material? Just a question for you all. Now, of course, there is nothing homoerotic with my training videos, but I understand that you view the videos, you see young muscular men, and you feel completely mugged. You feel mugged to the extent that you have to cope. You have to cope with your sense of inferiority. So you say to yourself, oh, haha, these men, they are homoerotic. That's the way for you to deal with the fact that you feel inferior when watching my training videos. You know, if you want to make it a professional report, you shouldn't really talk about homoerotic video making. I mean, it's it's not serious. I don't think anyone will take you more seriously for coming with these sort of accusations or an implied insult or whatever it is. I laughed at it because I know exactly the mental process. You know, an older man trying to be an expert talking about homoerotic videos. Uh, yeah, Truly pathetic, but for every time you make such mistakes, your gravitas and credibility is lowered. So all good for me, I don't really mind. And if you think my videos are homoerotic, yeah, you might um, you might have some homosexual tendencies yourself. If you are a regular straight man, you don't view them as homoerotic, you view it as training motivation, as is the intention. Now, anyway, on to the more serious issue at hand here, and I've talked about this before, I'll talk about it again. The establishment, especially the Swedish establishment, the Swedish regime, is in a position where they are desperately, still to this day, in the year of 2020, they are still trying to portray a fantasy narrative where you have violent right-wing extremists who are a threat to democracy and society. Now, of course, this fantasy scenario, it's extremely important for them to portray that gives them legitimacy. Now, of course, reality looks a bit different. And for me personally, and all other right-wingers I know in Sweden, we have for a long time, I have lost count how many times I've said this, I am against political violence. Why? Yes, because it's a mistake. That is what they are praying for every single day. It wouldn't surprise me. They go down on their knees, pray to God, and ask for a right-wing lunatic to make some sort of violent act, so they have an excuse to shut us all down. They are not afraid of violence. They couldn't care less if some minority group dies. They couldn't care less. They care about their own power, and what is a threat to their power is our metapolitical message, that we can spread our view of reality, because it's more congruent with the actual reality. Regular people, they are afraid that their teenage daughters will get raped and that their teenage boys, their teenage sons, will also get raped and robbed and humiliated. That's the reality for Swedish families today. And especially after a summer full of these sort of attacks on Swedish youth. That is the discussion. That is the real discussion. So the establishment, the regime, is trying to, you know, turn a blind eye to all of the young Swedish boys being beaten up and humiliated, and instead focusing on the vicious right-wing extremists, and I'm so extreme for making training videos. 
that are homoerotic, apparently. So you see, they are desperately trying to still portray this sort of fantasy scenario. And they are also doing this because they know we will fight back. And the, re and the way they want us to fight back is to commit impulsive, aggressive acts of violence. They do not want us to fight back intelligently. Fighting back intelligently means lawfare. If you want to do something for Western civilization, become a lawyer, take the fight into the courtroom. And that is something that they are afraid of. You know, journalists, if they are not careful, and I will start doing this, if I, if I can get someone on defamation, I will take them to court. Because I know that hurts them. They're not afraid of a um, crazy person going out killing someone. That's only more, you know, juicy details for a uh, hit piece they can make. And then they can shut down people. They're not afraid of it. They're afraid of getting taken to court. They're afraid of political parties. They're afraid of Swedes, for example, organizing politically or in organizations or in companies, creating families, creating communities presenting metapolitics, presenting culture, presenting a different narrative. Those are the things they are scared of. They're not scared of violence. So if you want to fight back, do it intelligently. Do not do it via violence, because that is what they're almost trying to prod us. Do something, do something violent so we can shut you down. And again, I've said it so many times that I'm against violence. They're still, to this day, trying to present us right-wingers as um, a violent threat. But, you know... Many people will see this video where I again say that I'm against violence. They will continue to try to present me as a violent threat. Because they know I am a threat, but not a violent threat. I'm a threat to their view, their narrative of reality. And that's the problem. So anyway, again, I have said many of these things before. I do have some good regular videos, you know, self-improvement videos incoming. And yeah, I will be back with one of these responses in... A few months or whenever they make a new hit piece and I will say basically and I will say basically the same thing and they will try to smear me in basically the same way. They will continue to lie and if they don't keep their guard up I will sue them for defamation. So keep that in mind, dear journalists, if you are trying to lie about me. Anyway, thank you all for watching and have a great rest of your day. XXO Boom!